Hi there, I'm Dassey from Partners in Crime GFX, and in this video, I'm going to show you an outro template I created completely in free software called Blender, and I'm going to show you how to edit it. If you don't have Blender, you can download it from the link provided in the description of this video. This template is available on our website, along with a bunch of other cool templates, so keep an eye on our website if you want professional graphics and free software. The first thing you do to get the template is press the subscribe to download button, then click subscribe. Once you're subscribed, simply go back to the page and follow the instructions, and then click the download link. The outro will be shown in the last 20 seconds of this video, so for now, we're going to show you how to edit one. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to hold down shift, and then you're going to want to select this first layer here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to rewind, and what we're going to do is we're going to right click on our object and we're going to change the color to whatever you'd like to change the color to. We're just going to make the color blue. We're going to right click on our other objects, our revealing objects, and we're going to change the color to blue as well. And what we're going to do now is we're going to right click on our background and we're going to change the color of the background to blue. And we're just going to change the specular as well, and we'll change this to another blue. And what we're going to do now is we're going to change the text. So we're going to select our text, and we're going to press tab, and we're going to erase that, and we're going to type our own custom text. And then we're going to press tab to confirm. And we're going to select the back text, and we're going to press tab. And we're going to erase that text. And we're going to type our own custom text. And then we're going to press tab to confirm that. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to fast forward a little bit. And what we're going to do is select our render layers tab. Hold down shift and then select that tab. And then we're going to go into render view to see how that looks. Alright, so now we're going to go back into solid mode. We're going to hold down shift and we're going to deselect this layer again. And what we're going to do now is render it out. So we're going to show you how to save it to an output so that your video renders to wherever you save it to. And you can erase this and type whatever name you'd like to type here. And then you're going to choose a folder on your computer to save it to. And then you're going to press accept. And then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to press file and then press save as and you're going to want to save this under a different name. So then again you type whatever you'd like to type here. And then you choose a folder on your computer to save it to and then you save it as a blender file and then all you have to do is press render and render animation and it will save to whatever you put the output to so if you want some professional graphics and free software don't forget to check out our website you can also subscribe for more and turn on your youtube notifications so that you're notified of any new templates we release 